the origin, when we're talking about pain, mechanical deformation. That's the thing. He knows why that lady hurt. She was mechanically deformed. How did you know that? I told you no. She told you. I can alter my pain with position or use. This should be taught on the first day of every physical therapy curriculum. It should be taught. Is it ever taught? What are the other two origins? You mentioned there were four. There is central sensitization, which we will talk about. This is the problem in the brain itself that perpetuates an output of pain despite the absence of peripheral problems. Write down um, phantom limb pain. There is no, there's nothing out there yet centrally. Now, you can have these three. You can certainly have that. And centralization of problems is something Butler's looked at very carefully and they're finding increasingly that, boy, you, the brain changes massively. And immediately when you start hurting, the more you hurt, the more likely your brain is going to set up a, a scenario that will reduce an output of pain. It's, it's phenomenal. And this is also why we can make such a difference to people because the brain, the neuroplasticity that we continue to possess up into death is something that can be messed with. You know, they do all kinds of exercises and lateralization, that sort of thing. This is, is a wide open field and it's so exciting to hear people talk about this. The other, the fourth, deferentiation which is a fancy word for a change in the nerve itself, a change in the nerve itself. You can get biochemical changes in the nerve that allow it to have more uh, sensitivity locally than it would. Ion channels open in the nerve, and many of these ion channels, which would not normally pr be present, are adrenosensitive. So, you got a nerve that is deferentiated, or however might this might have happened, you know, regular pounding or uh, an old injury or something like that, and somebody's relative walks in that they don't like, you see? Their adrenaline rises, the nerve begins to fire. That's a little different than mechanical deformation, you see? And a fascinating thing, and probably what's going on with so-called so trigger points. Much more likely that we're dealing with localized nervous irritation, then we're on the right track with this, right? Then we are dealing with some kind of change in the OG tendon organ or the uh, interfusal fibers of the of the uh, human muscle, you know, gammas don't actually exist anymore. Isn't this interesting?